Hi, this is Tammy with Spot On Psychic Readings, and I'm coming in today with a really um, special message for you all about your intuition. And this was a message that was channeled to me over the last few days, and I did take some notes, uh, mental notes, actual notes, just so I wouldn't forget to tell you when I sat down to actually do this reading. And Chippy's here today to bring his um, high vibe dog joy to everybody <laughs> while you're here. So I wanted to just um, dive into this and, you know, whoever I am reading for today, I brought Chippy a little cookie, whoever I'm reading for today has really, really high intuition. And whoever I was picking up on, I'm getting the goosebumps right now tuning into you all, whoever I was picking up on is very, very empathic, um, very highly evolved, and I feel like you came in with spiritual gifts into this lifetime. Um, I'm bringing this heart-shaped Labradorite stone with me. This is a gift from somebody also very, very empathic. And Labradorite just has such good vibration. So I wanted to just bring this to the reading. And I just, what I'm picking up on is there was some sort of relationship for whoever I'm uh, picking up on, which may be one person or multiple. I think multiple people needed to hear this message today. And I just feel like you came in with spiritual gifts. You came in very highly evolved. You're like a human lie detector. <laughs> you know, you can see three people. You know when somebody's being manipulative or lying. What I get in this situation though, there was somebody that I'm picking up on that didn't want to listen to their intuition necessarily about a relationship. And that's where I'm gonna pick up um, with the cards and look into some of this. I feel like maybe in this case, you didn't want to be right. You know, you know that you're almost always right when you're reading into people. But in this case, I feel like you really, you didn't want to be right. It's like you didn't want to see what you were seeing. You know, and it, it's an interesting thing with um, having all this intuition, having all this inner wisdom that you were born with, that you came in, in with, these spiritual gifts, because sometimes they can cause a conflict. It's like you know things and then you have this responsibility of what do you do with what you know? <laughs> you know, you have a responsibility of do you say something? Do you keep it to yourself? Do you really listen to it? Maybe it'll go away, sweep it under the rug, you know, that sort of thing. So let's just look at some of the cards and see what's happening. One of the things that's, that it's saying here is trust where you're being led. And I am looking at the light worth it Lightworker and Empath cards right now to kind of get some information on this. You know, I'm also feeling like narcissistic energy played a part in whatever was going on that you were picking up on. Um, that you, you wanted to use your spiritual gifts and I also feel like this person who was very self-absorbed and or narcissistic was trying to hold you back. They were trying to gaslight you and your gifts. They were trying to tell you, well, you know, you're not always right. <laughs> you know, to try to throw you under the bus so you wouldn't see through them, you know. There was something there about um, your will, like somebody was trying to bend your will and somebody was trying to micromanage you. This is micromanaging the universe. This is about manifesting, which is what you're doing. But the person that was with you, the person you were seeing through, um, I feel like was really gaslighting you on trying to micromanage you, you know, a lot of controlling behaviors and things like that. Like they knew what an empath you were, but they didn't want to um, let you know that they knew. It was almost like they were out to disempower you, it was, is a lot of what I'm getting here. We've got, um, yeah, you were learning how to be a human <laughs> in this lifetime, being of the world, but not in it. And again, this goes to your very, very special um, psychic gifts, you know, a lot of just, you were born, whoever I'm speaking to right now, you were just born enlightened, honestly. And I feel like even as a child, you knew you were very different. I feel like you used to know things about adults. I, I feel like in some ways the world was kind of a scary place for you because in a lot of ways you knew more as a child than the adults who were in charge of you, if that makes sense to you. And it's really a difficult thing. You know, you feel people's intentions very, very strongly. And sometimes you had to ignore it <laughs> as a child. And when you're an adult, sometimes you just wanted to ignore it. Um, this is about deep 
love. And I feel like this is about um, something to do with being a mother. Some of you may have known things about children. Um, you know, again, whoever I'm picking up on with these special gifts, you were picking up things that you, there's no way you could have known about whatever relationship you were in, whether it was the narcissistic relationship I was talking about earlier, or whether it's your, your children or your mother, your parents, people around you, teachers, um, coworkers, all kinds of things. But this is very much about deep love in this card because you have a very deep love around you and you feel things very, very deeply. You know, I, I feel from so many of you, you are very, very strong empaths. And it's like, when you don't listen to your intuition, <laughs> you regret it. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, trust the timing also. This card is about trust the timing. And this is um, trust the wave you came in on. Trust the frequency. You'll feel the frequencies in the air. And you'll also feel the frequencies that people are emitting. Like I said, you're like a human lie detector. You know, so you know when things are coming in. You, you know what's going on, even though you may not have won, wanted to see. And we're going to look into that in a little bit. It's almost like you have to have enough courage to really look at what you're seeing, look at what you're picking up on, and it's not always an easy thing to do. You were called. You were called to be in this lifetime. If this is you that I'm talking to, and I think I, I if you're tuned in here, you'll know. You'll know if this is for you or not. But this is very much about your soul gifts and being in training in this lifetime and it's time to step up and sometimes step out through that doorway, okay? It's interesting how sometimes when you have these kind of spiritual gifts and this is what, this is what they were channeling to me is like you are around this person to really amplify your spiritual gifts. <laughs> what just happened here? This is water your garden. Oh, take care of yourself. Rest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. These cards just took on a life of their own there all of a sudden, as cards often do. <laughs> okay. Um, so where was I? <laughs> so one of the things is when you don't listen to your intuition with these high, highly um, evolved gifts that you have, you regret it. You know, and I know all of you who are listening have probably had that happen for sure. And it's um, this, I feel like this happened in a relationship with some of you. I feel like some of you are like, how did I, how did I get involved in this? I could read people really well. Like I know what people are thinking. I know what people are doing. I know what their next move is before they do it. How did I get involved with this person who was so narcissistic? And it is a thing that goes on with empaths for sure. Um, just as a side note, this card, longing for home, being homesick for where you actually came from. Again, I'm, I've got the star seed empath cards here. So I wanted to get messages because so many people with these spiritual gifts are light workers and are star seeds. And you're like a whole different level, you know, very highly sensitive. And sometimes these narcissistic energies will definitely come in and take advantage of that. Yeah, the new earth, you're coming in to bring this new earth. Okay, you light workers, and it says it's happening. Keep holding the vision, but in the meantime, I find it very difficult for light workers and empaths. Why this pop back out? The new earth. They want me to talk about this more. I find it very difficult for empaths and light workers, um, and all of you with these really high-level spiritual gifts, to kind of deal with this world and deal with relationships in this world. There is a new earth coming see this very strongly it's definitely a new earth on the way and that's why you're here keep that in mind okay as I go through this so I'm gonna switch over to the other tarot and I wanted to look into this person you know you understand people really deeply and um, whoever I'm talking to it's like I feel like some of you may have had the same experiences I've had where you have had glass break <laughs> I don't know it's a thing with psychics and some of you may have wondered you may notice a pattern uh, especially if you're going through a period of time where there's high emotion in one of these narcissistic relationships where you'll walk under a light bulb and it explodes or you have just some glass in the kitchen explodes 
Um, yeah, or you're just constantly seemingly dropping glass and it, you know, a lot of glass breaking. It's a thing with psychics and it just comes with the territory. It's that high frequency, you know, it's a high frequency. The same way that really high pitched vocals can break glass. It's literally what you're doing sometimes with your energy. It's so powerful. So know that you have a lot of power. If you have these gifts, you have a lot of spiritual power to use for things other than breaking glass. <laughs> but just know that's what kind of power, you know, it's like an example to you. So I'm looking into this narcissistic situation um, that I'm seeing with you all where your intuition did not lead you wrong. And what I'm getting here is there may have been a third party situation that came up. And I feel like there were secrets and this was revealed. You know, it's like you may have exposed this yourself through your psychic gifts. You may have confronted your person. Um, it's like somebody wasn't getting what they wanted. Yeah, and there was some kind of commitment in marriage. So we got nine of cups and hierophant, three of cups and the world card. This all had to do with spiritual lessons, you guys. I'm sure you already know that. But the cards are just confirming it very much had to do with spiritual lessons uh, for both of you, you know, for you and your person and whoever the third party was. I, I feel like in some ways your person was almost testing you. It's like, well, you don't know everything. Let me hide this from you. Let's see if you figure it out. I feel like they were gaslighting you a lot. I feel like you were being taken advantage of and they were making you question your spiritual gifts. I feel like they were really like making you, well, may maybe they're right. Maybe they're right. Maybe I really um am off on this you know it was by plan it was by it was definitely a plan and you were seeing the signs but um i f i feel like you were being thrown under the bus the person who planned to throw you under the bus i feel like there was a plan there all along to gaslight you and again it's all wrapped up in spiritual lessons so i'm sure you you've learned through this if you didn't know it before to really trust your spiritual gifts this person may have been a King of Swords type. This is a King of Swords archetype, as I'll call it. The King of Swords is very closed off to their heart center. Sometimes, especially if this is upside down, this can represent narcissistic energy. This is somebody very disconnected from their heart. They're not emotional. They're not gonna be tuning into you empathically. This is somebody who doesn't really feel your feelings. They don't feel a lot in general. Very intelligent most of the time, that's what uh, comes with this card very highly intelligent and um, very hard workers very determined very focused you know that kind of thing but this is also the type of personality that I'm speaking of of somebody that um, was gaslighting you you know I get a lot of gaslighting in this situation what happened with this third party situation yeah, somebody was looking for something else on the horizon. Whoever it was you were with, they were looking for a long time. Okay, like what else is out there? Let's see what other opportunities. I feel like this person was an opportunist in a lot of ways. And, you know, I wanted to do this reading just to confirm to you that you're right. <laughs> I mean, that's what I'm getting so strongly is you were getting all these signs and you were right you know this is about you listening to your intuition and knowing you really do have these gifts and i'm sure you already know because your intuition is always right um i feel like your person was looking for more money your person may have been looking for a queen of pentacles or may have um, connected with finances and a queen of pentacles could have been reversed this could have been a queen of swords um, who was gaslighting you and they hooked up with a king of pinnacles. Okay, take it as it resonates in a collective uh, reading like this, okay? And this reading is for any sign. I meant to say that at the beginning. This is for all signs. I feel like you left this situation. Whoever's listening to this, I feel like you finally went, okay, I know what's going on. I can't stay in this anymore. I feel like you were in a really uncomfortable situation and you left. Here's the Six of Swords. You're like, I'm getting out of there. And I feel like some of you left in the middle of the night, literally. I mean, that's what this card shows. And I, I feel that really strongly. Like you were just like, you just made a break for it and you just left in the middle of the night um, in a rainstorm. You know, I literally see a storm 
stormy situation. I hear a lot of arguments and again, you're being gaslighted and that's why you just couldn't take it anymore is what I'm getting. What else happened in this situation? Here's the moon. There's so much deception. I really do feel like this person was just testing you like, oh, you think you're psychic? Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, like it was almost like they were um, poking a stick at you a lot, like doing things just to see if you catch on, just to see if you would say anything. I feel like there's so much of that happening in this relationship to you all. Deception and um, just all kinds of things being kept covert you know people saying one thing doing another right under your nose i feel like it's right under your nose a lot wow let's let's see if there's anything else on this you know and at the same time it's like you were trying to be very understanding you were trying to be very nurturing it's like well you know i don't want to jump to conclusions i don't want to you know assume that i'm right and that they're really being deceptive yeah Here's the um, Emperor card. You could have been, some of you, dealing with an Aries. Some of you could have been dealing with some Earth energy too with this Queen of Pentacles. Could have been the other person involved in this. And also some air energy with this King of Swords that came up, okay? This can have to do with somebody who was very controlling, somebody that was really concerned about real estate. I feel like there was a big thing about money property, real estate, and this is why the person was trying to throw off your psychic gifts. They didn't want they didn't want you to use your psychic gifts. They were trying to take that from you, keep that from you, hide it from you. Um, they may have been involved in buying property with somebody else, maybe this Queen of Pentacles. There was something there, that, so much stuff was going on um, in the dark of night, like literally and figuratively for you guys. And there was something about new love offers. I feel like for some of you, there was a new love offer here and either you walked away from things or this person got some sort of an offer. And it was like, oh, you know, they were looking for an opportunity. So they, they took off on that. And here's the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, they were totally all about money. I feel like they were totally all about money. And most of you with this high intuition, I mean, while you appreciate money and you, of course, need money, you want money because that makes this world go round, um, it's not your main focus. You know, I'm not, I, I get that you, you let money come to you. I feel like you manifest money. I feel like you draw money to you. You're not out there trying to rip somebody off to get it, you know? It's a whole different ball game on that. I want to switch over. I just got this deck. Let's look into what your um, person has to say for themselves. Okay, this is sort of um, a confession sort of deck. Let's tune into this person who is doing all this deception. Um, you know, in this deception, keep it in mind, it could have been a relationship, a coworker, it could have been some organization. Okay, for that matter. What does it, what is they? what do they have to say? Yeah, they were looking for abundance. They were looking for um, something better is what I'm getting. Um, they were manifesting abundance, money. Look, there's money on this card. That's what your person has to say. Here's the butterfly. There's something about healing their inner child. There was some kind of, yeah, I was feeling that earlier, especially with that narcissistic energy. Um, if this was a relationship, I feel like, I feel like this is the person having a lot of trauma in their background, a lot of abandonment issues. Like they couldn't get enough. Like they were always grabbing onto, like grabbing for money, you know, like as soon as they could get it, grabbing onto it. And there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of fear of, um, lack, you know, something about the way they grew up with this inner child and they needed some sort of a transformation, but 
you know, it's a very deceptive way to go about it. There's something here about um, love coming in. And this is for you all. Look at this Cupid card. <laughs> and we're kind of, you know, here at the month of February when I'm doing this reading. So this is have faith, love, actual real love is coming in for you guys. A surprise invitation struck by love. Okay. Let's see what else. Let's see what else is coming here. The clock. Needing time, cycles, takes time, takes time to heal and process, yeah. And I feel like that's where you're at, a lot of you, um, you know, you're like, I was right, I was right all along, you know, that's what I'm feeling from you. Like, I, I knew it, on some level I knew it, I swept it under the rug or I confronted them and they gaslighted me. There was something there um, you knew, you knew it was coming, so you're still taking time to process it at this time. There was something here about chemistry, sparks, having fun, just out having a good time, passion, acting on physical lust and that sort of thing with your person and the other person, okay? Let's see what else, anything else from these cards? And I'm gonna switch over the tea leaf cards and get a couple more things real quick, okay? Unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection return this is for you guys okay so you know I, I feel this from a lot of people who have these gifts at this time that you're feeling very disillusioned about love it's like where is my soulmate where is my person you know where's the person I'm supposed to be with my divine counterpart and this they're out there they're out there I, I feel like you almost had to go through this situation First, there's something here about going through that, really recognizing how powerful you are, having to take your power back and really own your power. And then there's going to be this, this is the blowing the kiss card. There's going to be this, the Cupid's arrow and just the clock and the right timing all coming together for you all. So there is new love. There is new love coming in. Let's see if there's anything else they want to say about this. Um, do you all went through a thing? I mean, no doubt about it, you all definitely went through either a nasty work situation with a coworker, most likely a relationship, um, and you knew your intuition was spot on. <laughs> it was spot on. Yeah, here's the caterpillar. We had the butterfly a second ago. Things will not always be this way. This is about transformation. Now, there was something important about the month of December, or will be this year, but I think something came to your attention uh, potentially in December, okay? What else do you all need to know? Whoops. <laughs> Here we go. The funnel. You're going through a period of frustration because there are lessons to be learned. Yeah, those spiritual lessons are... Uh, coming in pretty strong and the thing is you're learning them, you know, you're going to the next level You're going through a spiritual graduation Something happened something important in July. So we've got December and July here. Okay, put them here so you can see them You know there's something really strong about all that negativity and the narcissistic energy. It's almost like that energy is just starving to feed off of light workers. It like just seeks us out, you know? It's like, it doesn't have that sort of love energy on its own. So of course it, you know, it seeks out empaths. Here's the harp. I always think of angels when I see this harp card. Um, this is great happiness. So you guys, there's great, great happiness coming in for you, okay? So I'm gonna leave it right there um, right now, but I do just wanna say, trust your intuition. <laughs> I think if, um, if you didn't trust your intuition before, you certainly trust it now, <laughs> okay? After everything you've been through. So thanks so much for coming in. I hope this was helpful. Every now and then I get these downloads um, and I just wanna do a collective reading for whoever it is I'm picking up on, okay? 
So I hope it was um, helpful. So I'll talk to you all again soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.